find the minimum ah uh, it also decreases yeah what all quantities decreases increases is what you have to make observation here conditions for bob to be in vertical circle what are the conditions like because i want it to complete the circular path hmm? for that okay we'll proceed so this our so i'm projecting with a speed u then for what is the condition necessity condition i i suspended it here this is the length l the bob i am projecting with a speed u at lowest point then when the same bob ascends to the highest point here it will have speed v then here let the tension be t1 mg let this be tension t and the weight mg will also act and now for it to complete conditions for bob to be in circular path or to complete vertical circle conditions for bob to complete will write it to complete vertical circle so what is the necessity at highest point will go for it it has to complete the circular path means somehow if it can cross this highest point afterwards it is going to descend on its own so we have to see that somehow it should reach the highest point so at highest point we'll see what are the equations t plus we will provide required interval for the tension and weight t plus mg equal to mv square by l now next year if tension zero string will be straight but the tension zero if the tension zero also somebody should provide centripetal centripetal force so will provide centripetal force the weight mg even if tension become zero will provide required centripetal force the weight of the bob so definitely what will happen now who will take care for it to be in circular path because somebody is needed no to complete circular path some centripetal force is needed will power that the weight of the bob will provide here now as i decrease the tension the v also will decrease please try to make observation here the tension is a variable quantity then what is the lowest value of tension tension can be equal to zero also so for a bob to complete circular path for a bob to complete circular at a s point t should be less than or oh sir t should be greater than or equal to 0 that's all no that the condition so let's substitute this one this will be m v square by l minus mg greater than or equal to 0 or i'll cancel out v square what is the minimum velocity here root gl for a bob to complete circular path the tension in the string should be greater than or equal to 0 okay clear this one now with this I, i'll come to know what is the minimum velocity so minimum velocity or obtained is how much root gl if the velocity of the bob at is point is root gl then it's going to complete the vertical circular path for it to have velocity minimum what minimum velocity i should project at lowest point let me apply conservation of mechanical energy from lowest point to highest point this will be mu square equal to mg into 2l as v is minimum the speed with which you project at lowest point also will going to become minimum so m get cancelled so u square by 2 or u square then v is 
minimum the u also will be minimum what is the minimum speed root gl that is so therefore what is the u minimum so what is telling if you project with a speed root 5 gl it is going to complete the circular path so to at lowest point with what speed you should project greater than or equal to root 5 gl is what is putting condition so for a bob the minimum speed with which to complete circular path if the speed is greater than okay fine apply it will complete circular path what is the minimum speed needed root 5 gl are you getting no so there are questions will come like this with what minimum speed you should project so that the bob will complete circular path means root 5 gl greater than root 5 gl already we have seen i'll go back already we have seen if i project with root 7 gl what is the velocity at highest point how much is getting root 3 gl no problem that is it will complete circular path what is the lowest velocity uh, with which it can project complete circular path means root 5 gl is what is telling how do we obtain you see i started from here at highest point what is the minimum velocity needed rather than saying this highest point we say it's a critical point <coughs> i don't like calling highest point hmm? critical point is what we have to call at critical point the bob must have critical velocity so what is the critical velocity this v minimum is called as what is the critical velocity where the velocity of the bob will be minimum at critical velocity if the velocity of the bob is greater than or equal to critical velocity is going to complete circular path how to identify critical point it's a point on the trajectory <coughs> where the bob will have the minimum velocity and the tension can be zero so how you define critical point just just simple idea what is the critical point here in the books they call is point better don't use word is point better say critical point here what is the critical point in the velocity of bob mm -hmm. uh, if the uh, like a, it's a point on the trajectory point on the path you write it it's a point on the path where tension in the string is zero and if the velocity of the bob is greater than or equal to critical velocity it's going to complete the circular path hmm? it's not telling any other condition here so there's only the basic idea of a critical point what we define or tension rather than saying zero no better say minimum minimum and speed of the bob will be minimum and at critical point the bob will have it is having critical velocity speed of the bob the speed of the bob is called as critical velocity here. at critical point the bob must have critical velocity to complete circular path okay then like this we say criti critical i think uh, most essential no what is telling how to identify critical point where tension be minimum so what is the least value of tension here can be zero so i'll call this as now critical point here so this is the critical velocity if the velocity of the bob at critical point greater than or equal to critical velocity is going to complete circular path okay like this the idea of critical velocity is brought into picture
वन सर्कुलर मोशन कंप्लीट इज इनफ माई हेन सर्कुलर मोशन इफ इट कंप्लीट वन सर्कुलर पाथ इज इनफ नो इज गोन टू रिवॉल्व अगेन एंड अगेन वॉट इज देर ऑफ एन पीरियोडिक मोशन नो इट इज इफ इट कंप्लीट वन टाइम वन रेवल्यूशन नो इट्स गोन टू कंप्लीट द नेक्स्ट ऑल द रेवल्यूशन देर नो इट नो वॉट इज द क्रिटिकल पॉइंट it's a point on the path where tension in the string is minimum and the speed of the bomb will be minimum and how to calculate the critical velocity so from here from this equation you have to bring it for a bomb to complete the circular path at critical point the bomb must have critical velocity this is the thing next we'll put it here hmm? uh, the mean what do you mean by number of revolutions here you can find out what is there go back to kinematics huh? i am asking something i am discussing something important thing we are going for revolutions what is use of revolutions here vertical circular motion now what do you mean by critical velocity for the bob to complete circular path at critical point it must have velocity greater than or equal to critical velocity so how to where that means the bob to complete circular path greater than or equal to critical velocity at critical point okay these are the some conditions is what we have put it here so minimum velocity to complete circular path is root 5 gl critical point here it has at is point it has become critical point need not be at is point it can be anywhere there is one more condition critical point can be anywhere on the path in the given situation it has come at is point because at is point the tension can be zero no uh, if i project with a velocity less than root 5 gl what will happen this is what we are going to analyze here so we we'll take the next situation if you project with a velocity less than root 5 gl this is condition to complete vertical circular motion no condition to lose vertical